Okay, so this is a crude, um, quick and dirty experiment I set up to see if there's any kind of uh, change in the weight or uh, weight of uh, aluminum. Um, what I'm going to do is just run this thing and watch the reading on this uh, kitchen scale here. This is in grams. So right now it's just uh, zeroed. And if I just touch this little tray here, you can see it fluctuate a little bit there. So um, I'm just going to run the microwave oven on defrost, which is a low power setting. And um, let's see what happens here. I'm just going to zero the scale. Okay. So it moves a little bit, but I'm going to start it up here. So it's at, it just says negative three on the screen, negative two, and it goes up to zero as soon as the magnetron turns off. Magnetron turns on, still at zero. And it should turn off one more time. There, it goes to minus two, minus three. When the magnetron turned on again, so minus 3, minus 2, back to 0. So there was some fluctuation there as this um, cycle was going through with the magnetron turning on and off. So I'll, I'll run it again. Because it seems to get slightly different results each time. So I'll just zero that. Oops. Okay, zero. Fire it up. Okay, it says minus nine, minus eight, seven, six. Minus nine, minus nine, minus seven, five, eight, minus nine, and it will shut off here in a second. This is minus eight. Minus six, minus five, and a few other runs I've done, minus four, it seems to slowly return to its rest value after the power shuts off. Minus three, which is interesting. It should go to minus two shortly here. Minus two, zero. Isn't that interesting? It's almost like the the aluminum is is um, returning to its original state. I will open this up here just to show what I have going on here. So, gotta be careful. This top magnet does get hot. Uh, it's absorbing some of the microwave energy. And these are just two ceramic magnets, actually from another magnetron, which I took apart. This is just some aluminum aluminum plate. I don't know what the alloy is. I don't know how pure it is. Um, not totally pure aluminum. Um, those are just a couple of spacers in there. I'm just sort of roughing it 
to try to get somewhere in the neighborhood of about 800 gauss because that's where roughly the magnetron frequency of I think they're about 2450 megahertz so that means the Larmor frequency should be um, in order to get dynamic nuclear orientation there should be somewhere in the neighborhood of 800 gauss here in this this field and then this is just uh, to absorb extra energy this water here and this is just a, a plastic syringe which goes through to the bottom of the scale or uh, sits on top of this scale here and that's basically it quick and dirty cost me nothing to do this and once this magnet cools down I'd like to do another one more test here so I'm just gonna pause I'll be right back Oh, while it's cooling, I'll just take this off. So, that's all there is to that. And the top one gets a lot hotter. I guess it's because it's right close to the waveguide outlet here. And here's another one of these these plates which is very similar in size and so they're about um, they're about 48 grams about 50 grams these aluminum plates okay one more one more quick test here saying 2 right now on the scale and now it says 0 I just put some tape down here just to I thought that might be might be a source of error just if this thing's sliding around just a little bit from the vibration of the motor and stuff in there anyway here we go four Three, two, two, zero, I'm going to try something else. Okay, so I added, I added one more layer of that plastic uh, separator there. So now there's three in total. So that should weaken the field. I'm just crudely trying to tune it here and see if that makes any difference. Okay. Just zero that. And here we go. This is minus three, minus four, magnetron turns off, now it's minus three. On again, now it's minus five, minus six. Minus eight. Minus eight. Minus nine. Minus ten. Minus ten. Minus eight. Minus nine. 
These are grams again. Minus nine. Minus nine. That's weird. Minus 10. Mm. Minus 12. This is bizarre. Minus 10. According to Dr. Alzafon's theory, if minus 11, it, the aluminum could still be absorbing um, inertial energy, minus 12, minus 11. I mean, this is a... Uh, oh. Turn off. Crude experiment. I'm just going to check the magnets and do one more test. I just uh, added another plate on here just to deflect, reflect. The microwave is away from this magnet so it doesn't get so hot. So that's why that's there. Um, so just zero that. Zero. I'll zero one more time. Here we go. It says minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9, minus 10, minus 11, minus 12, minus 10, minus 9, minus 8, minus 9, minus 10, minus 11, minus 12, minus 13, minus 14, Magnetron just turned off. Minus 11, minus 10, minus 9. Minus 9, minus 8. Minus 8. Might stick there for a while. And there's no drafts in this garage right now. Doors are shut. Minus nine. Minus eight. We'll just watch this until it times out. Minus nine. Minus eight. It's probably sitting somewhere like eight point five or something. Nine again. Ten. What the heck? Minus ten. I'd like to do this experiment with um an analog scale. Just try some different things. There, it went to minus 11, then it turned off. Um, I want to do one more test. So I just can't get enough of this. So, 
There we go. Minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, minus ten, minus eleven, minus twelve, minus thirteen, minus twelve, minus eleven. Magnetron is turned off. Minus ten, minus nine. Magnetron back on. Minus ten, minus eleven, minus twelve, minus thirteen. Minus 14, magnetron off. Minus 13, minus 12. Minus 10. Minus 9. Minus 8. Minus 7. Minus 6. It's just bizarre why it would even be changing. Yeah, it's stuck at minus six. Minus seven. Minus eight. Minus 10, minus 9. This doesn't make any sense, I mean, other than there being some sort of a gravitational fluctuation. Minus 9. I can't think of any thermal effects that would be responsible for causing that much fluctuation. Minus 10. Minus 11, I didn't touch anything. Minus 12. Yeah, it turned off. So just... Yeah, that's pretty steady, pretty firm. I can't really move that, so... That kind of eliminates the... possibility of this thing slipping and then changing the angle and then changing the weight that's what I thought of but anyway uh, lots more room for experimenting with this but uh, this was an interesting start anyways